I think the key to success with the SQ1 is definitely working smartly. It's definitely a time game, I would say. And I think just taking my time at the end of the week to myself and planning my week really helped me. I think for me, the key was being very organised and being self-motivated. I think in terms of organisation, it's you know, quite a long process and it's difficult to catch up if you fall behind. And in terms of self-motivation, there was a lot of time where you're working at home or working on your own or doing your own studying outside of the lessons. And I think it's really key that you stay self-motivated uh, or otherwise you're going to find it quite a long process otherwise. So my advice to people who also need to work part-time alongside their full-time SQE course is uh, it's not a decision to be taken lightly and it might be that you find yourself needing to give up you know, social engagements and things like that in order to be able to get through all of your BPP work as well as working uh, alongside it. But having said that, it is very useful in terms of, particularly if you're working as a paralegal, for example, or a legal secretary, something like that, um, having the ability to practice the law and the skills that you're learning at BPP, um, I personally found extremely helpful. I did some work alongside my SQE course. Uh, in terms of balancing work and doing SQE, I found it a bit challenging at the start, especially because it's so intensive, the course. But one thing that helped me was having an understanding boss and doing the course online as well. So it meant that I had greater flexibility in terms of choosing when to study and studying around my work as well.